The war on drugs doesn't just stop with illegal substances. In fact, Texas is getting more than $1 billion as part of a settlement from a massive opioid lawsuit. The basis of that lawsuit, pretty simple. Big pharma companies overlooking or ignoring the massive amount of pills dished out through pharmacies for decades now. 25 News reporter Austin Walker is here in studio to break down more of this settlement. Yeah, so McKesson Corp, Cardinal Health, and Amersource Bergen, each company is accused of not tracking the number of pills their pharmacies are ordering. Lawmakers across the aisle saying it contributes to the larger opi opioid epidemic. The settlement money is going to do a, lot of whole, a whole lot of good. A $26 billion settlement stretching over 52 states and territories. McKesson Corp, Cardinal Health, and Amerisource Bergen, all pharmacies, quote, accused of exacerbating the opioid crisis by overlooking the number of opioid pills that pharmacies ordered in the past two decades. Today I'm pleased to announce. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says a chunk of that settlement coming to the Lone Star State. My office has secured $1.167 billion for the state of Texas in a global distributor opioid agreement. Money geared toward outreach, funding opioid treatment, treatment, prevention, and education. The plan is to also create a system to track and report drug shipments, staying on top of who is getting what and how much. On top of the $1.167 billion, the state is also getting $75 million worth of Narcan, an emergency drug used to reverse opioid overdoses, something emergency personnel use often. You know, with the problematic increase in opioid overdoses. I mean, it's, I don't think there's any community that's not touched by that. Chief Jim Devlin with Hewitt Police says more Narcan is a good thing. Most instances, we are the first ones on scene. We beat uh, the fire department EMS. So I want to make sure that we're equipped and trained uh, to, to have that and in, in, in case we have to run across one of these situations. In the right hands, opioids have a legitimate use, but in the wrong hands, it's an epidemic. According to the CDC, half a million people have died from opioid overdoses in the last 20 years. State officials say the money will fund programs getting that number down. In the studio tonight, I'm Austin Walker, 25 News.